my name is Maurizio Polentarotti. I'm a physicist, and at the moment I'm responsible for the X31 beamline at Electra. X31 uh, provides information about the three dimensional structure of molecules, both small molecules, it could be the, the result of a synthesis, or as an example, uh, metal organic frameworks or, or um, medium sized molecules that could be found in nature as well as large uh, molecular complexes like protein or enzyme or even complexes of proteins. Uh, this is in particular used to target new drugs as an example or in general to know how nature works. <laughs> there is a huge, a huge step in between. Uh, just since when I started this uh, activity at Aletta, it was 2001, the world of collecting data on proteins simply. So we are talking about in 20 years, we, we pass from a data collection standing for uh, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, to a data collection of five minutes. So it's one order of magnitude in, in the speed of the data collection. And uh, the quality gain even, even much more. I mean, it's, it's, it's unbelievable how much we were able to improve this technique in the last 20 years. Uh, well, there are many, really many programs because the data analysis requires um, high computational resources and uh, a really a, a, a strong specialization of the people who's using the, these programs. So uh, in, initially, uh, there's a lot of mathematics to do and, and then um, the interpretation of the data and the building of the models requires a large experience in, chemi in chemistry or biochemistry. Um, yes, in, uh, in, in, in many ways, we always help the users to get the best data as possible. I mean, this is one what we consider our first um, mission at, at the beam, at the beam line, really. Well, um, the first idea is that the user could not come anymore to run their own experiment. So uh, we are doing their experiment, we are taking the data for them, or they are taking the, uh, their own data from remote, which is a possibility at X31. Uh, well, a lot, um, honestly, uh, we can both solve the structure of some target protein, in particular the protein, the main protein is of the virus in order to uh, design, be able to design a possible inhibitor of the protease, which means to stop um, the, vir the virus replication. On the other side, we can also check the shape of the small molecules, which is supposed to inhibit the, uh, the protease uh, after the synthesis of the molecule itself. So this is a cross check. And at the end, when the small molecules will really become the active ingredient of, of, of a new drug. We need to check the crystallinity level and the crystallinity quality of the, of the drug in uh, the drug, in the pills. Uh, and the reason for that is that solubility, again, is something that is very important for a drug. And the solubility depends strongly on the crystalline form of the drug, not only on the drug uh, three-dimensional sh shape, but also how this is organized in the crystals. I really hope that people will realize that how much science is important. This is, would, would be the best, uh, the best result of this somehow, uh, supporting science much more than what they are doing today uh, from the financial point of view. We are demonstrating the rational approach and the technological approach, scientific approach, can uh, offer a quickly some solution to some uh, uh, worldwide disease and uh, large problems for, for, for the whole world. <laughs>